Hey again guys, thanks for joining me. So it's the beginning of June. I was supposed to get some showers the next couple days, so I wanted to get some seed down, which is probably my last overseeding that I can do before fall without the heat just killing the seeds. So just a quick update, I wanted to get that done. And then I'll probably shoot some footage to show you guys the tools I use to get my lawn from point A to point B. So this is why you click on a thumbnail to see the tools I use to get my lawn from point A to point B. Let me show you what I used. Okay, so this tool that looks like it's a weapon out of Vikings is actually a solid tine aerator. So I drove this thing over the lawn a few times, created a thousand holes. And what it does is loosen up the soil. By loosening up the soil, you're gonna promote good growth and allow the roots to actually go down instead of just sitting on the surface. Now you don't need to make one of these. I made this one at home. A little DIY project, which is what I do. Keeps things cheap. But you can use one of these. Does the same job, just takes a little bit longer. So after loosening up the soil, I wanted to clear all the dead stuff. All the weeds, which was majority of my lawn, up. It was dead at this time. It was dormant. It was not growing. I took advantage of that. So the next tool I used was the Sunjo with a dethatcher setting on it to tear up everything I could. Everything. And I set it to the deepest setting I possibly could, which is extremely easy. Just pull on this little lever, push it in. Up, down, done. So I tore everything up. And this tool works amazing. For the DIYer, the home owner that wants to have a nice lawn, buy one of these. Wow, the mosquitoes are bad tonight. But I'm gonna stick it out. So the next thing you gotta do, after you use the Sun Joe, is you wanna pick up all that mess. So. I use this simple lawnmower with a bagger on the back just to pick up all the crap that I left on the lawn. There was a lot of it. So once you do that, everything's all picked up, clean, lawn's looking like dirt and nothing else. The next step is, obviously, you go to the Scots. <laughs> They're cheap, about 30 bucks at Home Depot, and they do an amazing job. So I use this to spread my seed and I spread a lot of it because I did not use a pre-emergent. There's no weed control. I just got as much seed down as I possibly could in hopes that it would actually grow up faster than the weeds. And it did okay. But you can use it. I use it for my fertilizer, for the starter fertilizer that I put on about a week after when I started seeing growth. And that's what this was used for. It's not expensive, 30 bucks. Come on, people. So my second last step was 
you, you got to put something over the seed and I used peat moss it's great it holds water it keeps it moist keeps the seed moist so it'll actually germinate you don't have to water as much but you still got to water consistently so I use this my homemade peat moss spreader it works amazing you don't get as dirty but it gets the job done way quicker and more efficient than you can do it by hand so you can build one of these it doesn't take a whole lot to do then the last thing you obviously got to do is water and you got to be consistent on it. you got to keep that seed moist it'll dry out it'll die but if you keep it moist you're going to see a lot of lush growth fairly quickly a couple weeks two weeks 14 days it took 25 days to go from this to this So stick around. At the end of the video, I'm going to have one last final tip for you. And believe me, that changes your whole game. We'll see in a few minutes. Also, you're going to want to stick around and subscribe to see my next video. Because in Canada, we can't get liquid fertilizers that easily. We're not the United States. But I did get my hands on some of this. In the next video, I'm going to show you the application and the results. See what this product can do.